Hello everybody, I'm Movie Breakdowns, and today we're going to be covering the Jeepers Creepers 1 movie. Other people will not cover the kill count. People will um, do origins about it, but people won't list the kills like Dead Meat and other people. So today I'm going to do that for you. You're welcome. I know. I know you want the Jeepers Creepers movie. I know which I'm going to do the other two, but today we're going to do this one first. I switched my username because I'm not going to lie, my other videos suck. And I understand that from the other comments, so do something different okay do something different now leave a comment down below if you like longer videos or more shorts i don't know i don't know you guys tell me so today i'm actually doing this in the uh, office um so this is where i'm gonna be covering all the movies all the scary movies all the dramatic films or and i'm even gonna do very soon the storyline on Grand Theft Auto V um, prologue. So if you want to see that, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe, subscribe to my channel. I'm not going to be like those other YouTubers who are going to be like, oh, subscribe to my channel, you know, every five seconds. And at the end of every single video, I'm not going to lie, I get very annoyed at that too. But if you do not want to hear that, come to my channel, just, you know, if you like the content, you know, feel free. You could subscribe, like the video, whatever the flip you want okay just go by heart you know okay trish and jenner the two main characters in the story are driving along um they see a truck to go check out the license plate they go right beside them to see who's driving and as they're looking at them it the car turns so as you can see behind them in the movie there's a truck hauling towards them hits the trunk almost knocks them off the road and then the the creeper is honking the horn continuously the creeper drives by them well, right beside them and trish says are you out of your effing mind and then the creeper proceeds to go straight and we don't see him again for like another eight minutes so and then as they're driving they come across um actually no they don't come across they take a pee first they take a take a pee go on the road they see this um church this old um it looks burnt down church so they drive um right along it and as they can see the creeper is dumping um a sheet um sheet with red stains on it as jerry and trish mention so as they see that, the creeper hops back in his trucks, stares at them for a little bit, but then proceeds to get back in his truck. And as they start to, they see the creeper going around the drive, and then they start looking for a phone, but the phone says you need a portable charger to use it, which Chris, Chris said is BS. I'm not going to lie, that pretty much is. I mean, I'm not even going to lie, I have an iPhone. It can charge in like two minutes. But that's not the point. The truck comes hauling, hauling again, with the cow picture and all, and it literally knocks them, knocks them off the road. So it breaks, it breaks the trunk. I'm not gonna lie, it does, it does. And um, they um, drive off the side of the road. Jerry ends up fixing it, and they get back on the road, and then. Jerry and Trish are sitting there talking, talking about going back to that old pipe where, he, where they had previously seen the creeper shoving bodies down that pipe. Jerry convinces Trish to go back down to where it eventually was and then they check it out and um, Jerry goes down into the tunnel asking Trish to hold his feet and um, Jerry ends up freaking out because there's rats but he actually heard someone down there he fell down there grabbed a shoe tied it again and he heard something he walked up to a body kicked it and it breaks free and starts grabbing its foot and shaking and um jerry gets down on his um knee and opens the bag and it's a guy in there gasping for his life literally about to die the guy dies um jerry walks off to explore the like the basement of like the church so he walks off he shines his flashlight up towards the ceiling and he can probably see about three four hundred bodies down there and 
um, he finds a way, well, actually, I should be covering. So <laughs> they talk about in the story about um, two people died in a car wreck, and they only found his head, and um, Jerry found her head stitched back together, and he took the ring, found his way back up to Trish. Trish sees a truck that looks almost identical to the truck and then runs back in but cannot get the car started. It will not start. She starts moving the gear shift around, hoping and praying that it will um, eventually move. So as the truck drives by, she realizes it's not the, the creeper truck. So as she's laying there, um, thanking God for not letting, not letting it be the truck, the creeper truck, Jerry comes by... Um, the left the left door the right door whatever and scares trish and thought it was the creeper and then as we can see the two inv individuals driving to a gas station to look for a phone to call the police um as they park in the gas station near a gas pump they see the creeper truck um going back towards the church most likely to have more bodies to store down the pipe and then trish says it's gonna find out where we've been there so they go inside the gas station and they look absolutely terrible. There's dirt all over them. So along with um, Jerry. So they call, I think they call the police. And then this crazy cat lady on the phone, they answer it. And um, they keep, she's like predicting the future. I'm still trying to figure out that part. I watched the movie and I was like so confused. Is she like psychic? I got confused when I was little. Don't, don't judge, okay? I watched this movie when I was like seven years old. I didn't understand anything. Um, so as they're talking to this cat lady, she said, have you seen the cats yet? And um, eventually the cops do get there. They keep asking questions, you know, what was the truck's color, you know, a bunch of dumb questions that they probably already answered because cops probably don't know how to do their job. Um, and they get back on the road again to show them where the church was full of bodies. And then as we see the cops in the car, we proceed to Tristan Jenner. And then they listen to the song, um, How'd You Get Them Eyes? Just look it up on YouTube. You know, you'll understand. Um, we go back to the cops and um, they get on the radio that they found a print on the car, basically. And it was dead skin, so... You know, they're trying to figure out how the heck did that happen. And then as they're sitting there wondering how, you know, it came up as dead skin, they also get another call about the church being on fire, which we see in Jeepers Creepers 1, well, not Jeepers Creepers 1, but Jeepers Creepers 3, that it was destroying information, trying to not let, like, trying to, God, trying to get us to not let us know what it is. Which we've already said, it's a man that has a curse, so. Not doing your job! Okay? Show. Um, and then we later fast forward back to Jeepers Creepers 1. So, as they're listening how the church can be on fire, they hear something knocking on the roof. And the cop says, hold on, the sky is falling. And the other cop um, opens the window, takes the shotgun, and then brings it with her to see what's on the roof. And it's the creeper. The creeper grabs her by her hair, drags her up, and I think kills her. I'm not sure what happened to her. And then as she's as the other cop is wondering what just happened, the, cre the creeper punches a hole down into the car and grabs his head and then cuts it off completely with his axe. And, um... As that's going on, the car swerves. The cop car swerves, like, off the road, and I think back onto the road. And then, uh, as that's happening, the the head of the cop bounces onto Jerry's car, and that alerts them that something is wrong. So, as that's happening, they swerve the car and almost go off the road again. So, as that's happening... Um, they walk, get out of the car and go check on the cops. And once Trish gets a little bit closer, they realize that they're, they're dead, that something killed them in the wreck. So, and they realize that someone is in the car, which is the creeper. 
So they run back onto the car. Jerry realizes that there's blood on the roof of the car, touches it. Um, they get back in the car and then they watch behind them who steps out of the car. So as they're waiting there, um, the creeper gets out of the car and whistles, where'd you get them eyes song. And as he's doing that, he picks up the head, sniffs it, and um, eats the back of the head. And then he flips it around um, and eats, eats, it, eats its tongue. And then as that's happening, Jerry is screaming, go, 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 go. And um, eventually they do drive off. And just like the crazy cat lady said, have you seen the cats yet? We um, see that we're at a house with a lot of cats. Um, and um, Jerry says, this place doesn't have a phone. It more likely has shotguns and guns, a lot of guns. And um, they they pull into the driveway. They talk to a the, the cat lady over there. Um, well, not the previous cat lady that was on the phone, but another cat lady. So, she said not to call the cops over here, but go to someone else's house and call the cops or bring them somewhere else. So that way they don't remove all of her cats and get forced to have them have new ones. Cause she she is she likes her babies. She likes her babies. Okay. R. I. P. For cats and comments, please. Um, and that's that's going on. Um, the woman says. Did you bring someone else with you? They both turn to the left, and as you can see, where the scarecrow was eventually is now the creeper staring at them, trying to pick, um, which I believe he was trying to pick who was more scared, which was obviously Jerry. And um, Trish says, get the heck away from him. And um, the woman brings out a shotgun, and she says, I'll give you 10 seconds to get off my property, or she will eventually shoot you. Um, and then Trish says once again, get the heck away from them. The woman, the woman says it again, um, get the heck off of her yard. And then the creeper comes charging at her and then she cocks back the shotgun and then fires it at him. And he goes flying onto the roof and into the chimney, it looks like. And he goes through all, all over the house um, scaring off all the cats and into the woods. So she goes back in and then we hear four gunshots in the house. And then not like 10 seconds later, um, we hear footsteps and then we see the woman standing right there. And then the creeper behind her, the creeper walks back onto the porch. And then there's a deleted scene where um, the creeper talks in the deleted scene. And the creeper says, she don't smell too good, Derry. And then as soon as the, the, the two kids, well, the two people see the creeper, they immediately run back into the car, put it in reverse and then drive out of the driveway. The creeper throws the woman and then um, they pull out. Creeper stands right there in front of them. They're just staring at them. And I have a feeling that he's picking out who's more scared. Um, again, <laughs> to see who's more scared of him. That would be. Um, and as they're sitting there, Jerry says, run him over. Run him over, Trish. And then as Trish is, um, moving the, the gear shift, the creeper just paces back and forth as if they're trying to, as if he's trying to confuse them. So they try to run him over. He jumps over the car and onto the other side where they previously were. They put it in reverse. They try and run over him again. Doesn't work, jumps back over the car. So now he's just standing there. So now they just sit here, sit there waiting for the creeper to come to them. So as the creeper is walking towards the car, they keep moving the gear shift, trying to make the creeper feel like it's not working, like they can't drive anymore. So the creeper walks towards them. They run him over. He, his hand completely like gone and his foot. 
So they keep running him over like 20 times, which I thought was unnecessary, which he did actually end up surviving. At least run him like over 40 more times though, okay? We even seen him get run over by a freaking semi. By the way, which was in the country. You do not see semis in the country. I know that. So, um, you know, they run him over. They go to a police station and file a report that someone is trying to kill them. And they say it's like some demon. And then we see the lady um, that was on the phone come to the police station and the cop says she's worked with us on a missing pa um, persons report so it actually is true she is a she predicts the future so as they're doing that the all the lights shut off and then one officer goes to check on all the cell the everyone that's in the cell uh, to see if they're okay one person at the cell s says to look down there he just nods his head and says over there like this and um someone actually got eaten you could see his dead skin all over the place and as you can see that the creeper has his um hands right here on it and eating an arm and as you can see that the creeper stands up with his brand new arm that looks exactly like um a cop's or a cellmate's um cellmate um the creeper creeper gets up the cop sees this and takes a few shots at the creeper, but the creeper eventually eats him. He eats his heart. And then the chief of police gets a radio in that a cop was down. Two cops are down. So it was actually a cop. Um, and as this is happening, the chief says to put um, Trish and Jerry in another room. And then the crazy lady that was on the phone leads them to a safe room. And um, Jerry asks, you can predict the, predict the future, right? Do we survive? He keeps repeating, do we survive? Do we survive? Do we survive? And she says, whatever I say will be the opposite. So, you know, she obviously can't tell them what's going to happen. So, the creeper actually ends up finding them, but the woman tells them to go upstairs into a more safer room. The creeper um, starts crawling on the wall and then the woman gets down on her knees and says, Heavenly Father, um, give me life or spare me or something. I don't know. Um, the creeper goes on there, grabs her head, pulls her head back and starts sniffing her neck to see if she's scared of him. She lets go. He lets go of her neck and then the woman's like, what the heck? And he we end up seeing um, Trish and Jerry trying to see if there's like any opening points where they can open a window and escape, take the car and leave. Well, let's be honest, that'd make the movie a lot longer and I'd have to talk a lot longer. Oh, would you look at that? Ark Survival has been downloaded on my Xbox. But that's not the freaking point. Okay. We can see Trish and Trish putting a hand up against the glass. Another hand is touched, exactly. But we Trish cannot see that, but it's actually Creeper who puts his hand up to the, to the glass. Creeper smashes through the glass, grab, excuse me, grabs Jerry, and then the police actually end up smashing through the glass too, pointing all guns and flashlights at him. The chief says, "Oh Mary, Mother of God," and then we wait there, wait there for a few seconds. White, white, wait there for a few seconds before Trish actually steps in and says, you do not want him, you want me, I'm stronger, you want me. And as Trish is trying to confuse him, the creeper says, drop him. And she says, yes, let him go and take me. The creeper pretends like he's gonna drop him, but actually flies off to the moon. And then later Trish follows him, but then disappears. Which this actually takes place during Jeepers Creepers, Creepers Creepers 3, where it's all about hunting the creeper. Which in this movie we actually got like. In Jeepers Creepers 1, we got like. I'm gonna count four kills. Four kills because Jerry, the two cops, and um, the guy. The guy, because that's all we saw. Um, the guy in the basement. So. 
I'm going to do this from Jeepers Creepers 1 to Jeepers Creepers 3 and 2. So, the Jeepers Creepers 3 is all about hunting people. So, the only ones we actually see him killing Jeepers Creepers 3. Which, I'm not going to lie, it's all about hunting the creeper and y'all don't want to hear that. So, I'm just going to say right here, there was probably about 5 kills in Jeepers Creepers 3. I know, upgraded by 1, let's go! I know, I know, let's go. So, I don't think there was any other kills, though. Wait, 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 four, five, six. I'm counting. Six kills. Six direct kills in Jeepers Creepers 3. I wish it was more. Like Jason or Michael, but, you know, we don't, we don't get that satisfaction. Victor Salva, please, make, make another movie with at least 30 kills in it. I'll be satisfied. I'll watch it. So, now we're... No, you know, Jeepers Creepers 2 should be titled Jeepers Creepers Near a Bus, which is really what it's all about. He's just near a bus. It's like his little lunchbox, you know. Take a little, it's like a, like little granola bars in there. Take one. Good. But there was actually um, nine kills in Jeepers Creepers 2. I know, a major upgrade. Um, if it was 10, I'd be more, a little bit more happier, but, you know. Um, I'm not going to cover the two, the other two movies in this episode, but I did you, I did give you kills, which is what you probably wanted, yeah, you probably did want them, yeah. So, once again, I am Movie, um, movie Breakdowns, I'll see you all tomorrow.